players just confirming this jack has met minimum length. Both of the opinion that it has. Good way control from Cheryl. Started by Sam. Yeah, it's a bit of a loose end last end for both players, really. Back on it now. Ever played a family member in a serious sporting competition, Tone? Uh, my brother and I used to give it a fair whack in tennis, but never really, you know, competition yeah. as such. It was more just going down to the local court, courts yeah. and still. I'll see him. Basketball in the front yard was the only other one. Yeah, we dominated him in both. <laughs> he's not here to defend it. <laughs> so you're lying, Tony. <laughs> uh, no, I gave a fair fist of it actually. If I'm being honest. He wasn't a bad tennis player. Bowl here by Cheryl. I imagine in the Thornton household there would have been quite some competitive matches. Yeah, there were some testy backyard footy contests early days. Jordan tells me he would have beaten you in bowls just about every time you've played. Well, see, that's incorrect. Because we have played and he's never beaten me, Tane. I don't think he ever will. <laughs> well, I love your confidence, JT. Just a touch under. Still holding one, though, is Cheryl. Sammy's going to come down and have a quick look. I reckon she's looking at maybe trying to sit the bowl, and if she happens to be a fraction narrow, she lands a jack back for two or three. Just, she's probably just double-checking she's got two seconds. On her backhand, JT? Or? No, forehand. On no, her forehand. Yeah. Now she heard me say that, she'd probably make me look stupid and go down and play back in on purpose. <laughs> oh, looks back in to me. There's a bit of weight too, a bit more weight than what I thought there might be. Got the ja oh, oh no, well, it still no, works. She's good, she's good. <laughs> Jack came off Cheryl's bowl, but uh, came back into play. It went out of bounds, sorry. And comes back into play on the two metre mark. Probably makes up for the earlier one. Yep. Fair call. It is a game of bowls and there is going to be some interesting adventures. Some good fortune, some bad fortune. Gussie's saying that's three. Yeah, it was three. Oh, there you go. Sorry that it was two. Hang on. Turn your eyes on, Tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. And Hurst picking up another single next door. 4 0 over Mary Thompson. Calling an umpire. Bobby Carlson, our umpire, one of the most experienced we've got. He's umpired at all levels. Right through to World Championships, Commonwealth Games. There's nothing he hasn't done. Sharon Jarvis, they've just updated that scoreboard now. She's leading 9 0. 
What a start for Sharon Jarvis from Hastings. A very good player. Of course, Susan Roffey, a very good player too from Whittlesea. So. And, uh, the umpire confirmed it was a legal length, so... Matt and Jack stay where they are. Morning, Joe. Hope you're well. Uh, it's good fun being able to br bring the bowls to everybody. Mary Thompson on the board next door all the way from the USA I mean a good tournament it's Mary <laughs> morning Bradley hope you made it home safely last night good question we actually, I think we had this discussion the question is would you prefer to lose someone wearing brown shoes or thongs I think my statement was, I don't think I've ever seen a good bowler wear thongs, so. Yeah, we saw one the other day. Wayne Arnold on our live stream and Dave Cook, a good pairing. Bowl here by Sam. Cookie was wearing the Ufos thongs, well bowled Sammy Atkinson. Two down to one up. from Trafalgar had a very good men's pairs day, a couple of days. Maybe the question back to Ori should be, would you not want to lose to someone in bright yellow shoes? Fine to answer anything on this topic. <laughs> Morning, Gaho. Um, good question. Yes, they are. They are a mother daughter. Morning, Glenn. Yeah, Cheryl's using a Green Master Super 10. As some Sammy comes down, draws another. I'm trying to remember. I know she prefers a couple of her names. I, I'm trying to she remember. She doesn't like Sam. Right. She likes Sammy or Samantha. And I've been calling her Sam all morning, so you I will have. stop doing that. Just remember. I just remembered that. I went, hang on. Which am I getting it wrong? Cheryl down with the last. She's a couple down. Has to play it a bit tighter. And just scoots past. It is funny when you see uh, Sammy declare it and say, two mum. <laughs> it's 11-4. State Championships last year and the year before. It was often shouts of, well played, Mum, shot, Mum. Started being mimicked in the crowd by the supporters. I played with the, in a tournament with my dad and brother in September last year, but I didn't get to say that at all because <laughs> you never got close enough. <laughs> well, you're a hard man. No, it's actually, we've made it two years in a row now playing that event. It's in Murray Downs Classic. Tone and uh, it's the one time I've played with my brother and dad. It's actually good fun. I reckon that's one of the best things you could do in life. I had my first game of golf with my daughter about a month ago, and uh, one of the best days of my life. Long may it continue. Didn't let her beat me, but. <laughs> no way. Not silly, but it was good fun. 
I don't think it'd be long before my sons will be beating me in golf. No, but look at the videos from last night. I reckon your younger one might have you. <laughs> the older one certainly does. <laughs> Gussie actually had a quiet night in last night, so... He told me he went home. Yep. Grabbed some hungry chaps, he said. He got a <laughs> nice <laughs> burger. <laughs> That's all right. You'll get him into trouble with Megan. <laughs> he had a salad. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> salad, Hungry Jacks are all the same, aren't they? Yeah, it's got lettuce in there, surely. <laughs> Sammy, not far away from getting to the shop bowl of Cheryl's. Probably marginally tight. She had the speed to get the job done. Mary Thompson from Laguna Beach has levelled up next door with Jan Hurst. It's now four shots apiece. <coughs> no change. Cheryl's still holding one. Timmy, that's a that's an awesome story. Tournament with your son, uncle, and great grandfather. How good's that? Yeah, that's terrific. One of the best things about bowls. One of the many good things about it. Oh, I think she flopped the other way. Yeah, it's two good efforts, but just not quite enough for sure. So Cheryl can draw a second. I'm on the line, JT. Does it have the steam? It's not far away, Tone. Should be good enough. It is enough. Well played. Two more to Cheryl Atkinson. Mm, she's changing the length up a bit here. She's uh, bringing the mat right up. I was saying yesterday, and I reckon it nearly happened again, when everybody wants to bring the mat right up, they nearly always go, get to the 21 metre mark and then take two steps. Yep. I don't know why it's always two steps. But it just seems to be, that's my comfort area. Just to give themselves a little bit of freedom. Yeah. There we go, Bobby Carlson was already halfway here. That, my friends, is the sign of a good umpire was watching every rink and understanding where the game's at and what potentially may happen. You know what I'd do in this situation? I was playing my brother. Even if I knew it was in, I'd still call the umpire. You would. Yep. <laughs> Get him off his rhythm a little bit, you know? Yep. <laughs> Gussie tried to st step it out when he got daddy <laughs> just to see if he was right. There we go. It is in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six inches. <laughs> Look good from over here. Nelly Costa's picked up a couple of shots on Haley O'Reilly. Haley O'Reilly had skipped away to lead, but now 7-6 in favour of Haley O'Reilly. End by end scores available on Bowls Link. Aaron Shears and Kamari Mangos now three shots apiece. Of course, Kamari played for Sri, Sri Lanka at the recent World Championships. Plays out of Altona Bowling Club in Melbourne. How many internationals were at this event? Tone? There's again, quite a number. New We've Zealand. Got a number of different countries represented. Uh, USA, Sri Lanka. Was Atard in this event? Yeah, Malta. We've got a number of Scottish players. Yes. Some Hong Kong, China. Yes. Some USA, as we said. Correct. We're going pretty good with a mm. diverse country talent pool. Certainly are. 
not too many tournaments around where you can win your share of $100,000, JT. So no. they come from far and wide, and they're welcome with open arms. The track was really good. Still count, just a touch short. Morning, Westy. Hope you're well. Team's looking close here. Yes. Not a huge amount between flushing the bowl up and getting under it. Got the right side of it. Sure, we're going to have a bit of a run at this shot bowl. Not far away. Well, she's got the tee covered, so... See if this jack goes out. It is actually out of bounds. Confirmed by Gus McIsaac. <laughs> he was going to put on the wrong tee then. He nearly did. He corrected himself very quick, so that's one to Cheryl Atkinson. So touch her in the ditch somewhere. Which I don't think it will matter too much. I reckon Sammy's going to look for the bowl. She's got the next three. If she happens to get the jack, well, she'll probably more likely go with it. Where's the toucher in the ditch though, JT? Does that cut out the third shot? Oh, maybe. A bit close, but... She's just got to get past the first one. She's going to be close. <laughs> Jack onto Cheryl's bowl. Good bowl. Great effort. 11 7. I like the story from Brian. A few years ago, we had three father sons playing together in a top team at Bell Post Hill. It's a fair effort. We've got three father sons at Murray Downs, but not, not in the all top in the top team. side. Now we've yeah. got five of those six in the top side, but I reckon next year might change. The six, one of the sons, younger one, one coming in. Yep, be awfully close, I reckon. Good start of our show. White has been good. Bad little grouping over there on rink two, JT. Mm. Blue bowls. What a scoreline. I favour that Sharon Jarvis. She's leading 13-2. And there are blue bowls surrounding the jack. She dialed in today, Sharon Jarvis. Two JT or one? I'd say two. Maybe none Was. in the second. <laughs> Spoke too soon. We'll see if we can get that camera angle down slightly. Thank you, Dave. It was already on it. She's 
Might be going a little bit. I don't think she's got a chance of landing her mum's bowl there. Uh, I think she might have just beat it for speed anyway, she has. I wasn't far away. So he's got a chance to add a second here, JT. She's got a good memory. She can do it. Maureen Layton said years ago in Premier there was three father-sons playing at Melbourne. Which actually makes uh, a lot yes, of sense. It does, particularly with the names. Yep, absolutely. Layton's, Greens and McCarran's. Sammy might have backdoored that, potentially. I think, I think she has, yeah. Just doing a quick finger measure to see. But confirmed two. as two. To Sammy. 13-7. Mariki asked the question around finding live scores. We are only live scoring here at Drogue at the moment because we've got the, uh, the resources to do so. I don't believe it's happening at some of the other venues playing the knockout rounds this morning. So, Started here from Cheryl, nearly on nail to front knocker. Sammy's most two wayward starting bowl so far. She'll be looking to make a correction here. Just a fraction under. Big chances here for Cheryl Tone. Yeah, number here. She get a, a three or four. Gets her right back in the match. Close again. It depends what angle she leaves this one at. Nah, it's good. Don't mind that. <coughs> Sammy's playing some weight tone. Yep. Oh, she's just under the the shot selection was good. The line not so much. She just pulled a little bit out of her hand then, which yeah. you can do every now and then when you play a bit of weight. Great opportunity for a full count here for Cheryl. Just got to do anything like her first three. Looks good enough to me. Big score there for Cheryl. Yep. All of a sudden... 13-11. Going back on. <coughs>
Two steps. Sharon Jarvis leading Sue Roffey 17-4. Nice. Leo O'Reilly leading 9-7 over Nelly Costa. Lynn Taylor and Lynn O'Brien is 11-4 to Taylor. Alison Hall has got a bit of a lead. She's up 9-3 over Hayley Peters. Kamari Mangos leading 5-3 over Karen Shears. And the rink next door has tightened up again. It's been neck and neck. It's eight shots apiece. Mary Thompson and Jan Hurst. Tracks very good, just a touch behind, not lost there at all. I actually didn't pick up on that tone. Like we had some comments around two different coloured shoes, but I didn't realise actually Sammy had them. Yeah, I think she's done that before. Little right hand turn at the end for that one. I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different coloured aero shoes, but I just wear the same colour when I play. I'm not that Larry Tone. Don't mix it up. Nah. Probably confuse myself. Well, I tell you what, if it makes you bowl like that, I should start wearing two different coloured shoes. I don't think that anything could help you, Tone, but anyway. <laughs> oh, Cheryl's having a little crack here, bit of weight. She's getting down. No, she's getting down, all right. She's... Oh. Ooh. After just picking up a four, she did not want to drop a number. She hasn't yet. True. But Sammy will be holding through out of this bowl, I reckon. Track looks pretty good. Speed looks pretty yeah. good. She probably wants to get and flop. Oh, just fattens it a little bit. Speed here from Cheryl. Needs to drop. Nope. Got, oh, I was going to say she got one out, but she jammed it against the other one of she her own. She also took her own bowl yes. out the back. So this is almost a free hit at four here for Sammy Atkins, and she's holding through. Incredible how the game changes just like that. The yep. four, you think, she, you know, Cheryl's back in the game. Sam's going to probably get one back. Karen, yes, this green is definitely fully enclosed. This is what you would call an indoor green versus probably just a covered green. Yep. And morning, Knackers. I hope you're well, mate. Yeah, Gussie, man of many talents. It'll be good enough. It'll be a four to Atkinson of the semi variety. Back out to seven and eleven. And just like that, she's within reach of actually going out. We've had some big scores in this match. We've we had only had fours. two singles. That's probably... Yeah. Great opening bowls from both players. Sammy's was good. Cheryl's just a little better.
tight. Yeah, I was going to say. Speed's good. Yeah, just a touch tight. Very good. Costa's hit the front over Haley O'Reilly now. She's leading 10-9. We've got a couple scores from just the first two rinks outside behind us, Tone. Uh, Carol Pratapapas is le leading Lynn Polson 9 5. Liam Polson. Liam Polson, yep. That'd uh, be a good game, actually. They're both very good players. And the lady playing Natasha is leading 9 8. Mm -hmm. There you go. Natasha Van Eldick not having it all her own way. Great volley by Cheryl. Is it hanging enough? Sammy does a quick finger measure, sets the shot in her mind. Backhand it is. Backhand. I reckon just arriving. If she gets the jack out, it's good. If she gets the shot bowl out, it's good. She can also get off a couple of bowls there too. off the two front ones. It's a really good effort. Get there now. It's a really good effort. I don't think so. No, it might be just short. But I thought there was you know, maybe a yard of weight sort of shot. Lynette Taylor from Frankston skipping away on Lynn O'Brien from Maffron, now 16-4. Of course, all these matches, first to 21. Knockout play, same rules as sectional. Morning, Jake. Yes, Sam is wearing different coloured shoes. Sammy just made a little chicken motion to her mouth. She wanted Cheryl to have a little go at it to see if she couldn't give shot away. <laughs> Cheryl much too smart for that. 17-12's tone. So Cheryl hasn't gone quite as far up this time. Going back this way. Games next door, JT, 8-9. Lead to Jan Hurst over Mary Thompson. Kamari Bangos and Karen Shears locked at five shots apiece. So they must be able to get singles in that game. Mm. Well, when you weigh that up against the 5-5 five five against 17-12 here. <laughs> Haven't missed a bad difference. They're for the most shots scored across the whole entire green. Mm. It's probably indicative of both their style of play. Yep, both Very quite attacking. aggressive. Sam down here. She's probably going to hang enough to sit her mum's bowl. Great bowl. Hey there, Riley. It's just dropped a three. She now trails Nelly Costa 9.13 on the far rink. Thank you, Gibbo. Hope you're well, mate. Oh, from Cheryl. 
Just a little touch on the jack. Great reply. Nice weighted bowl, just a fraction wide. Cheryl could be cheeky and say call for umpire here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's always uh, whenever you, you know, the conditions played you're on so you can't go up until after you've played your third bowl, but yep. you know, in, in circumstances where it's tight and close and all the rest of it, no one has ever begrudged anybody going up and having a look. No, nah, particularly not in the closing stages of a match too. But still never ever made sense to me why you asked the marker and not your opponent. Hmm. Fair call. Been banging on about that for years, but... Alright, now Sammy Goney. She's got a hang now. It's pretty good, JT. It's pretty good. Oh, oh what a shot. That. What a shot. She even did the old fist pump of the air then yeah. too. Yeah, Get that, that up your mum. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. Called her brother chicken in the last end too, so it's started to get a little spiteful. <laughs> Just joking. Spot on, Squiz. It is a great head, this one. Furthest bowl away would be not even a yard, I don't reckon. Thought there must have been a camera on you for a second, JT. And you said it's a great head. Well, that's that. That would be a true statement as well. All right, Shell's playing some weighty team. Actually, no, not, not as much as I thought. Well, I thought the way she lined up, she was. It's just gonna need to drop. It's a fair old grouping of bowls <laughs> from both players. Morning, Vicky. Big Ocean Grove supporter. There's a strong contingent. Now, I did get a score early. That Tyson was down 11-1 early. Mm. So that was coming from wherever Sammy Rogers was. He sent me a text. Yeah, he's playing against Max from Ivanhoe. Can bowl. Sammy might be just short. Her mum should do the chicken sign back to her. That would make it interesting. Two it is. 19-12. Morning, Westy. Hope you're well. Yeah, it's interesting, Tony. 31 shots scored in this match, where the next best across this green is 24 at this present stage. Yep. Uh, oh, and here's another one. Great bowl. Yeah, just a little snick of the jack. Cheryl's not far either, Tony. Yeah, take it away. 
Great bowl. What a absolute pearler. Sam will play something similar. She can actually sit the bowl or move the jack. She might make two and hold the match already. Just a bit high. Just high again, Tony. No, she wanted to she probably wanted, land but it. But it, what it probably does is split the trail on. Sammy's almost got one eye on the scoreboard. Thinking how she can dust this mash off right now. Yeah, I reckon she was looking at maybe a weighted option. Yep. I'm saying that's exactly what she's going to play, but she's definitely had her feet lined up to maybe look at that. Kill, she's got two at the back. Forehand just arriving. She doesn't seem too far away, Tone. Doesn't turn far away. She definitely made one of it. Great ball. Cheryl's got to play forehand just arriving because if she can get to the jack and squeeze it, it'll go that way. <laughs> As, uh, Cheryl walked past and said she's a little bugger. <laughs> As I would say to my wife, when our kids do something, I would say, well, you borned it. <laughs> I just get told it's my child. <laughs> when there's something not, not <laughs> going as it should. Yeah. yeah. This is not far away, JT. <coughs> One. So we're on the, the brink here, Tone. 20 to 12. Ten shots apiece next door, Mary Thompson, Jan Hurst. Mangos, trailing Karen Shears, 5-8. Alison Hall, skipping away a little bit on Hayley Peters, 15-4. Lynn O'Brien, 7, trailing Lynette Taylor, 16. Sharon Jarvis is up 19-7 over Sue Roffey and holding one. Hayley O'Reilly, Nellie Costa having a good battle on the far rink. It's 13-11, favour of Nellie Costa. Plenty of matches outside also being live scored. Sammy continues to put the pressure on her mother Cheryl. Wait, just turn it to hang a little bit, that one. A bit more 
breeze outside today. Obviously, it doesn't affect us in here at the indoor, but players outside will be feeling a bit more breeze than what they have in other days. It's just quite pleasant inside, Tone. It is. It's lovely. Of course, all the facilities you could ask for here down at Trelgan Bowls Club. Track JT does it have the steam? Uh, it's the best one, I reckon. Tone, and he needs one to pot out. JT, it's forced Cheryl to go to the back end. She won't necessarily need to go near it. Yep. So we're just trying to either trying to protect the space where some, something might happen, and/or make it harder for Cheryl to get shot. Lock the it last. up a little. Yep. yep. <clears throat> well, she's gone the safe option and just got to the tee. I don't know if I love that option or not. <laughs> Why? I would have gone the blocker. Mm. I mean, there's a good reason why they're out here and I'm <laughs> sitting here, don't get me wrong. But. See, now, if Cheryl was thinking about attacking, she might think twice about it now. Creating, might be creating... It takes one shot off the table, get that. Creating doubt. You'll probably cover the weighted shot and the draw shot with a well-placed blocker. But I still think it's the hardest shot in the book. I don't know why, but it is. The blocker. Ah. Mm, such a, the margin of error on it is so high. If you don't get it right, all of a sudden it can be used to come off. Yeah. So just the draw from Cheryl. And she tracking. It's not a mile Weight's away. Good. The weight is good. Just ducking in, promotes Sammy's bowl in. They will shake hands. Well, they probably did more than shake hands, to be fair. <laughs> Mother and daughter having an opportunity, of course, they embrace mid-green. No, uh, good game. Chalk this one up to the daughter, Sammy Atkinson, getting the result 21-12. It was an interesting game, JT. It had a lot of high scores in there, some good well, attacking plays, some good skills all around. Outside the last four ends, we hardly had any singles. You know, and then all of a sudden, out of the last four ends, we've got three singles, so... Yep. Average of 2.3 shots per end, which is relatively <laughs> high. You know, this sort of competition. So just one final update on scores across the green. Of course, you can follow these on Bowls Link. Mary Thompson trailing 10-12 to Jan Hurst. They've had a neck-and-neck -neck battle. Kamari Mangos trailing 6-8 to Karen Shears. Alison Hall leading 15-4. That's over Hayley Peters. Uh, Lynn O'Brien trailing 9-16 to Lynette Taylor. Sharon Jarvis is up 20-7 over Sue Roffey. And Hayley O'Reilly's just got her nose back in front. 14-13. So we will come back to you with a round of 32 we will, some Tony. stage when we work out which uh, particular match to stream. But from the Henselot Victorian Open and our coverage through SEN, thank you, Dave. Thank you, JT. We appreciate Tony. your comments. We look forward to seeing you again. The Terrelgan Bowls Club. Amazing food for you and your family. Function rooms for celebrating with your friends. Corporate spaces for meetings and conferences. With special benefits for members, visit us today at the Terrelgan Bowls Club. More than just a bowls club. My Hensight Bowls have helped me achieve my greatest dreams, one of the most special being a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. No matter where I am in the world, my Hensight Bowls suit any surface and feel comfortable in the hand.